with ESPN out of the running for the Big Ten, that leads us to the Pac-12 and the Big 12. Now, ESPN has ABC, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, ESPN Play, etc. Like, they're going to need to fill content. Uh, what I want to know is this. Let's talk about, you know, time slots. How valuable is a late-night window? Because we've heard that the Pac-12 deal could likely hinge on a lot of late-night games. And with the Big 12, we could be looking at Thursday and Friday, you know, midweek games. I know BYU mm-hmm. is a valuable property for late-night windows. Now that they are in the Big 12, I think that's going to be a big deal. Uh, how big of a deal is that late-night window to ESPN or, you know, FS1 if they were to miss out on both of these conferences and kind of have no teams available for a 10.30 p.m. Eastern time slot game on Saturday? How much does that hurt those networks? If you're out, it, it hurts marginally. I think for ESPN, it's probably more important than anybody for them to have that 10.30 Eastern window. Uh, for a broadcast network, not so much, but certainly for ESPN and to a lesser extent, FSN1, we, we used to put uh, the late night Pac-10 games on uh, or Pac-12 games on FS1. Very seldom were they on, actually on, as we call it, Big Fox, the broadcast network. I think uh, there is going to be some competition where in the past there really hasn't been. You know, certainly with USC and UCLA in the Pacific time zone, they'll play a game probably each, maybe two uh, in that 1030 Eastern window. Are you going to see USC versus Michigan or USC versus <laughs> <Probably> Penn State? <laughs> no, but uh, USC, Purdue, USC, Indiana, possibly. Yeah. Um, you know, the big uh, Big 12 can play in that window now because with BYU, you can do uh, eight eight local uh, kick and, and, and it fills the same window. I think that for ESPN, though, it's definitely the most important for them as you know their west coast viewers expect to turn on the game on the station anytime on a saturday and there better be a college football game on one of those espn or abc channels oh in vegas there there almost has to be something going on exactly at that I mean, the, point the so. sports books die if you yeah <laughs> <laughs> well what so so we talked about the late night window what is the most valuable college football time slot because in the past that noon time slot wasn't really it didn't it was not viewed as having value, right? But Correct. Fox kind of changed that over and made it a prime spot. Uh, the CBS 330 game has always been kind of looked at as a prime spot. They haven't had a ton of competition there. And then, of course, ABC always had that primetime spot. At, at this point, where are you going to get the most viewers? Is it Saturday afternoon before anybody goes out, or is it when they come back home for the primetime spot? And, you know, right. it, give me give me your thoughts on it. Well, my thoughts have always been that 3.30 Eastern was the, the, the primary window. Fox's whole rationale was uh, that they get a jump on everybody and hope hope to keep them all day. Uh, the, with the pregame show, you know, you lead into that the, the big noon game and you hope it's it actually is a big game. Um, and you, you do whatever you can to schedule in that manner. And Fox pays a lot of money with the Big Ten to be able to have that first pick. So... You know, sometimes it might be a Big 12 game. Uh, you know, it's like you can't get the Pac-12 guys to kick that early. So that's just, you know, that's maybe the Arizona guys uh, when it's when they're on back on mountain time. But I think that the the prime window is definitely the least valuable, whether it's Eastern prime or Pacific prime, primarily because the, the hut levels or people using television at that time of day are just way down. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.